so we woke up this morning to about six inches of snow. I mean, you can see it on the picnic table here. Um, so now I gotta dump the tanks, hook up the truck so we can head to Lander, Wyoming. We definitely weren't expecting this. So it's kind of been a rude awakening for both of us and a little stressful. We just have to uh, stay positive. Just know that better days are coming. So anyway, the Lord's been good to us. So we have to stay focused on that. So I'm gonna get all this taken care of so we can get on the road. All right, we'll just uh, give a bit of an update. It's been a bit of a mess. Um, we're still in South Dakota, same campground. Our black and gray tanks froze up. We finally got some warmer weather. Yesterday it warmed up into the 40s. Today it's supposed to warm up to 50. I installed tank heaters on each one of the tanks, uh, including fresh water. I insulated the pipes as well with uh, pipe insulation and then duct taped over it. However, those tank heaters, they have a built-in thermostat. They don't activate until it's 40 degrees or below. Um, so they're not doing me any good over 40 degrees, which it is now. It's about 45 degrees here. So they're not helping me in the thawing process. So right now it's kind of a holding pattern. We're kind of waiting. Uh, we need these tanks to thaw out. I'm thinking about either putting tarps around to create a wall and throw a heater under there or put cardboard around the uh, RV like skirting. We're just trying to help speed the process up. We're supposed to get snow here again tomorrow. This has been quite a fiasco. <laughs> so if you ever have your tanks freeze up, um, it's a real nightmare. It's a beautiful day here. It's 50 degrees. So if I can get this done quick, we're thinking about running back down to Custer and driving through the park and enjoying the day. It's beautiful out. We've been kind of cooped up the last three days. So we took a little break from the tank freeze up situation. Oh, I was gonna say, what are you calling the situation? <laughs> Decided to come back down to uh, the Custer State Park area. Mount Rushmore area, Black Hills National Forest area, whatever you want to call it. So we are taking the scenic route, which is Iron Mountain Road. Anyway, when we get back to the RV, we will fire the heater up underneath and try to get those tanks thawed out. But for now, we're just going to enjoy a beautiful day. All right, really quick, it's seven something in the morning. We're getting ready to leave today. We're heading to uh, Wyoming after being stalled out here for an extra four days because of these tanks froze up. I know we could have left and we could have drove with the tanks the way they were. The problem was, or yeah, the problem is, um, the next place we're going to, uh, it's more isolated, uh, smaller town, not as many food options. Uh, if we didn't have the tanks freed up, uh, we couldn't use water, couldn't wash dishes, couldn't cook our food, uh, that type of thing. Uh, it was more a choice not to leave than it was thinking uh, we couldn't drive with frozen tanks. So I just wanted to show you what I did. I hung a tarp underneath with zip ties all just around the tanks. So I'll show you what it looks like under underneath here. Oh yeah, nice and toasty. It's so warm under there, you could sleep under there. So between putting rock salt down the drains, running this heater, I insulated the pipes and duct taped them, um, put the heating pads on. Anyway, I'm about to tear all this down, cut the tarp down and get ready to go because we got to get going today. Uh, we can't stay here another day. I'll see you guys when we're on the road. All right, we made it officially to Wyoming with the RV. Our plans have changed even just since getting on the road from this morning. Uh, we called the campground in Lander the 
only campground that was open because we've already checked others in the area. Uh, they're closed because their water pipes froze up. And the only other reason we were heading south was to go see the Tetons and we're going to stay um, on the north side of Wyoming and stay the night in Cody. Got anything to add? <laughs> we're just at this point we're heading Montana. What do you got to say? I'm really excited right now. We're in Billings. We're in Billings, Montana. We're staying here for two days. We got here yesterday, I don't know, early evening. We're walking around downtown Billings and we have our name in on the list to eat breakfast at a place that smells absolutely amazing. We walk by, oh, can't wait to eat. Stopping at the post office really quick to mail some packages and I'm gonna clean off the truck a whole bunch of stuff dropped from the trees on the hood of the truck and I'm gonna clean it off that's gonna drive me crazy driving from here to Gardner think it's crazy but you should stop recording okay we're gonna stop recording <laughs> we're here <laughs>